Hey guys, it's Nadine and I wanted to share with you guys another section of my bullet journal planner. Okay, so this one is all about tracking stuff. Um, there are a number of different things you can track and for various reasons. Now, I will honestly tell you that um, when I first got sucked into this whole laying out your bullet journal, um, I thought tracking was a great idea and so that's why I started to do it. But every single month, and I'm going to show you my different months, um, I started tracking different things and whatnot because I thought, well, it's a good thing to keep track of you know what I mean so um, and basically what it is is it it's a habit tracker so you want to see if you are doing the things you're supposed to do on the daily or what you think you're supposed to be doing on the daily anyhow so let me share with you several things that I was tracking and the different layouts that I use and then what I'm ending up with and why all right so when I started using this bullet journal system back in February. This is the way I laid out my habit tracker and I just simply called it tracking and the reason why you do it on a landscape spread is because you need 30 to 31 days and this is really the only way that you can set it up traditionally if you are um, using a block style okay because there's not enough squares going horizontally but there is enough squares going vertically so I set it up like this I have the name up here I have the days of the week here and then the dates of the week here and then I put the things I wanted to track on the sides there are so many things I wanted to keep track of because I thought these are the daily habits that I need to make sure that I'm doing in order for life to go smoothly and be the most productive that's what I thought okay so I did this method every single month I tried this is actually March and as you can see I actually did more days so I did like 21 days or 22 days um, and I did the things that I tracked were stuff like how many times did I exercise um, you know when did I journal when did I purge things out did I take time to read did I do my morning routine did I practice savers which is silence affirmation visualization exercise read and scribe and that's an acronym by Hal Elrod, the Miracle Morning, and I will link for that below. Um, so again, I kept it days of the week, dates, stuff here. I just like checked it out because I didn't want it to be um, this whole nother monster and it be very elaborate. I just wanted to keep it simple. Here's another example of one I did in May. I did 11 days. Um, I tried to break it up so that it didn't all seem like one big mess of stuff that I wanted to track. And then when I got into September, I was going to do that landscape layout again, but I don't know. I figured out that this layout doesn't work for me. It's just not, number one, visually pleasing to me. And I'm a visual creature, so I, it has to be visually pleasing to me in order for me to use it. And I just wasn't feeling it. And that's why I never came back and used it again, or I never came back and checked it off. Another reason why I didn't use it is because honestly I was tracking too many things like oh my god like ridiculous and I was thinking to myself why why do you need to track all this stuff uh, it's a bit much and then when you don't track and this is the weird irony of tracking things when you don't track stuff and you don't check it off you start feeling bad about yourself and my whole thing is my whole theory is I'm not trying to feel bad about myself I'm trying to improve and feel good about myself so this is supposed to lead to forming habits that'll make you feel good not bad so the fact when i don't do things and i don't track things made me feel bad it doesn't fly with me it doesn't feel good i don't want to do it because i don't want to see all the bad stuff that i'm not doing <laughs> another reason too is that when i have it set up like this and i'm trying to track so many different things i have this thought in my head and it's a kind of a stupid thought honestly that I'm supposed to check off all the boxes because that's what you're just supposed to do but the reality of a habit tracker is that you're not checking off the boxes or all of it every single day and that kind of drives me crazy so it's another one of my little self-diagnosed OCD things and this is another reason why I failed miserably using this system so let me share with you guys what I came up with and what I think is going to work for me 
All right, so this is my track it system. It's new, I feel like it's doable, um, and it's not overwhelming, and it doesn't make me feel bad about myself, and it's also visually pleasing. Let me share. Here, I have a page, and what I did was I designed some stickers, and they're hex stickers, and they're smaller, and they can be resized if you need it to be. Um, and I'm only tracking a few things, and I mean four things. I'm tracking my exercise, I'm tracking purging, which means I have this want and I've been having this like massive urge to throw stuff out in my house, like every single, every single top to bottom area in my house. I Every day I wanna give away a few things, at least one thing. So that's what I've been doing. And so far so good, check it out, check it out. And then the money thing, I mentioned that on my life wheel that I wanted to save more. And the reason I wanna save more in my life wheel as far as career goes is because I just did a renovation in my, my office um, and I took out money from my business savings account that I need to replenish in order to do my renovation. And if you follow me on Snapchat, I showed um, my renovation or I showed part of it anyway in different areas of the decorating aspect um, and so I want to rebuild my business savings and I've been doing good on that I've, I've been putting more back into my business savings account which is awesome um, and then reprogramming so this is another area right here that I can go into depth about later on in another video there's other aspects of myself that I do want to share with you guys that I think would be beneficial to everyone else out there so these are the four areas Look at it, I like it, it's simple, it's not much. I don't um, have a bunch of, it's just not randomness or like sloppy or whatever, it's it's here. I can see it all laid out on one page. Now, what I did was I used these Zebra Mild Liners, which is my stinking favorite and you will see it again in an upcoming video uh, in a few days. And I used just different colors. I love purple, I used the green for money as usual and then I used the orange for my purging. Now, next month, and this is actually in October because when I'm videoing this, this is October already. Next month, there are a few more things that I want to add. So I think it's gonna be a total of seven things and that is it. So it's going to be exercise, purging, money, reprogramming. I want to track my journaling to make sure I do it every day. I do the five minute journal in the morning and then a gratitude in the evening. I want to do this course that uh, my husband bought for both of us. Um, it's called Train Your Brain, which I've been loving it so far. So this goes right back into my learning area of my life wheel and I will link for the life wheel video up here. And then I also wanna keep track of my goal review because I have found that it's one thing to set yourself up with goals, but if you don't come back and retrack and make sure that you're on the right path toward that goal, you don't know. You don't know where you stand or whether or not you're even going in the same direction as you had initially thought. So I feel like that's important to track. And so these are gonna be this plus these three things on the bottom are what I'm gonna track in November. And then I can do a follow up with you guys if you would like. I think this is totally doable for me and you. With that said, if you guys are interested in perhaps using my hex design, by all means, I have a freebie for you guys. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can just go ahead and put this on sticker paper and cut it out with a paper cutter, or you can turn it into a sticker with the sticker paper and then stick it in your thing. I have it set up as a sticker and then I just cut it out on my silhouette and then you know put it here. Um, the beauty of this is, is you can resize it if you need to. So next month when I do it, I'm gonna actually resize it a little smaller so that I can fit seven on a page versus just four. Um, I will try to have SVG file for those of you who have a silhouette and a PDF for those of you who do not. So if you're interested in that, the link for the freebie is going to be below sign up for that um, and this is going to be my tracking system from this point forward that I feel like is super super doable so anyhow I totally appreciate you guys watching my video like seriously and watching all of the videos thus far um, it has been really fun to do this um, and to share my ideas with you guys and I've gotten great feedback which is stinking awesome continue to give me feedback because I love it I like seeing what your guys thoughts are on it um, and if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that tells me that you guys are liking the stuff that I'm putting up. And actually it gives me kind of like a fuel to keep making more videos because you know I've been in a slump. 
And then also, if you are not a subscriber, be sure you subscribe so that you know when I put up another video. Now, my goal is to put up, after this bullet journal planner series, my goal is to actually put up a video a week and I think I'm going to do it on Sundays. That's my goal. I might have two videos a week, but my main thing is to hit the Sunday thing. Be sure you subscribe so that you can be notified when a new video goes up. All you do is you click the little bell, which is a notifications button. And then that'll notify you when one of my videos goes live. Again, if you're interested, the freebie for this is going to be linked below um, as well as some other things too that I've mentioned. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will talk to you guys later. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.